Canary Wharf, the hub of London's financial district. Here, pounds, dollars, yen are traded at superhuman speeds. So it's no wonder that people want to stay connected for as long as they can. Sean Sullivan, you're the security advisor for F-Secure. Well, what is your concern about Wi-Fi? Free, open Wi-Fi is unsecure. It, it wasn't designed for the 21st century, and it's leaking information about us to people that we don't have any uh, knowledge of, uh, and they're collecting data on us that we're not consenting to having be collected. What evidence is there that criminals are actually actively harvesting data in this way? Where we are here in London, being a financial center, uh, a major financial center of the globe, I would be shocked if there weren't networks and criminals trying to infiltrate those networks uh, with Wi-Fi, with even just LAN. Out and about, you know, normal people, I think their concerns are probably more driven by privacy. Finn, what, what, what is this device? It's a mobile um, Wi-Fi hotspot. You can take it around anywhere and it has this special speciality here uh, that we can connect on it and monitor traffic of users who connect to this hotspot. What are you hoping to achieve? Yeah, we're trying of course to demonstrate how users um, really carelessly connect to any free hotspot available. And I will connect on the device now, so hopefully. So what can you actually see because of this? We could see actual packages flowing around. Um, we could see every unencrypted traffic they use so that I might be able to um, collect things like passwords, usernames, etc. How many people have logged on to your device since you've had it running? I've got a small script for it and can see that 10 people logged into this network since we set it up. And right now there should be two people connected to it. We've moved now from the centre of the city to the centre of the establishment. Short walk from here are the Conservative Party headquarters, the Labour Party headquarters, the offices of the National Crime Agency, and behind us we have the Houses of Parliament. Sean, what are you hoping to achieve from here? What, what, what could we possibly get from here? From here we could possibly get loads of tourists' uh, MAC addresses from their phones, and uh, they're basically shouting to our hotspot, I'm here. They could be spilling uh, information if they connect to the hotspot about where their email addresses are from, uh, perhaps their place of employment, uh, the name of the hotels that they're staying at. Okay, Finn, so um, should we start the whole thing running and uh, let's see what we're going to get? And of course, we've got two conference centres here. So we've got a conference in the minute for, for energy and we've got a, co a planning convention. At conference centres, the Wi-Fi is always congested. So if you offer an alternative, people will try it, see if that second channel works any better. So you just broadcast yourself as being channel two for the conference centre, people will try it. Finn, have we got anything coming up yet? Yeah, actually we do. We have some, some connections going on here. These are the currently connected MAC addresses and that's the number of people we've got here. We've got eight current connections to our access point here. So that's doing pretty well, isn't it? Eight current connections in the 10 minutes or so we've yeah, been from, running. From a very small improvised device, uh, someone who really wanted to collect data would create something with a dedicated power source, set it up here for a week, and you could collect lots and lots of data. What can you do about this? I mean, if, if we're all exposed in this way, how do we protect ourselves? Well, at F-Secure we have F-Secure Freedom, uh, which is a VPN, so it encrypts my data, it strips out tracking, and it provides me with a connection to my home base. So it, it blocks harmful websites, uh, keeps me safe, keeps me connected to home. If I'm going to leak any data to an untrusted network, I want it to leak encrypted data. So that what if Finn captures anything, it's going to be encrypted packets, not plain text that can spill my secrets.